Julie very generously offered her stock as, as our uh, demonstration. She's going to uh, ask others in her group to embody sticking forces, some aspects of her current situation. Um, she's going to ask them to embody that. She's going to tell them where to go, place them. She's going to tell them what level, whether they're up, standing, sitting, or lying down. And she's going to tell them what direction they're facing. And she's going to place them in proximity to herself as the stuck person and the others. So she's going to make a social sculpture of sculpture one, which is the stuck. Is that clear? I'm just, I'll describe the whole thing. Then once they get set in their sculpture one, they're going to go through the same process. Really stay with, stay with, stay with, until it's clear that you're not thinking about something or manipulating that situation. Really feel clarified. Not now it's not just your body, but it's the whole social sculpture. You have to really know where everyone else is, what the space feels like, sense what does it feel like, what does it feel like, what does it feel like. Let go of any thought of, uh, uh, you know, like what it should be. Let go of the thought of, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let go of the thought of, this is really stupid, I don't know why I have to do this. Mm -hmm. Let go of the thought, this is really great, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Please just let it go. And somewhere in that sculpture, movement will start. Generally not with a stuck person. It could be, but it oftentimes is somewhere else in the sculpture. It'll start to move, then collectively, just like you did with your own body, the parts of your... Collectively, this is going to move around until it goes to sculpture two. Then I'm going to ask, or they each will, say one sentence from the I voice. It's going to be, I did... I saw, you know, when I saw this, I was motivated to do that. When I did this, I felt that. I started here, I went here, and I felt more open at the end. Or something like that, from the I voice, and Julie will be the last to speak. So my stuck was like this. Um, Kate, can I invite you to... to sit on the floor and really pull me into that direction, facing me. Yes. And Bradley and Tammy, can you pull me that way, both of you, but facing outwards and pulling the different direction? They can both, yeah, face away and pull me both in a different direction. So she, they're trying to amplify her experience so she feels it more fully and they feel like part of her system. Then you can come and stand right in front of me. Like really block my sight and my... Yeah, you can come closer. Yeah. So they're settled into sculpture one and they're really feeling their whole system. No one's stuck by themselves. It's an entire system of forces. They're seeing, that means clarifying, and sensing as deeply as they can into the groundedness of it, the potential there, and they'll wait Letting go of any ideas they have, they'll wait until movement begins.
sculpture two. Great, beautiful. Thank you very much. So Julie knows what these forces are. They don't need to know that, but she can now do a little journaling or reflect on sort of what that, how that informs what this aspect of her life is about. So that would be the conclusion, that she gets a chance to reflect on it if, and in this case, there, you're also going to get a little opportunity to talk together about what your experience was. It's always in service of the person who's stuck, as we know, and that kind of tender attention to her, um, sort of her unfolding or her journey is the motivating force. <laughs>